All righty, all righty, all righty, chat. Today is going to be a bit different. Uh, mainly because I'm going to be... <laughs> I decided studying alone is boring. <laughs> and if I could... I mean, look, I'm going to teach... You guys going to learn drugs today. You guys excited to learn drugs from a really shitty PhD student? Uh, me? <laughs> Uh, song request is on. We're going to be making a cheat sheet today, chat, for one of my classes. So, because I have an exam tomorrow. Yippee. And I decided, you know what? Drugs? Drugs. We're talking about, like, actual pharmaceutical sciences. Drugs never heard of it. <laughs> Valid. So, yeah. We'll be doing, like, actual pharmaceutical sciences, like, um, coursework. So, you guys get a tag along for that. If you guys just want to vibe and chill, feel free. Song requests are on. Uh, yeah, we updated a whole bunch more stuff on the stream, so poggies. But, uh, let's switch over to, to the cheat sheet chat. So, I've already started and finished the pharmacodynamic section, which is essentially how the drug affects the body. So, there's, there's two main factors in, like, PKPD work. And it's, PK is pharmacokinetics, which is how... The body handles the drug so it's absorption metabolism excretion and distribution the pd part is the pd part is essentially how the the drug affects the body so what receptors does it bind to how long does it stay in there is it an inhibitor which basically lowers the response is it an agonist which increases response competitive antagonistic etc etc so I already did all this for the cheat sheet, and then that's when I decided, you know what, we can go live and just talk about, uh, you know, talk about drugs uh, to, to Twitch chat, so you guys get to learn as well. Um, nothing here is going to dox me. I've made sure of it. You guys won't sadly be able to see the slides, but you guys will get to see what I'm putting on the cheat sheet, so it's probably going to be very, very similar chat. Um, yeah. So, we're now going to be talking about membrane transport, so let's go ahead and go through the slides. So... It's talking about the fundamentals of membrane transport, which is... I'm going to put on some different music as background, actually. Give me one second. Let's do... Yeah, I feel like that's kind of a vibe. That That is definitely a vibe chat. Um, So, essentially, we have membrane transport, which is going to be done in four main things. Compartmentalize, communicate, gatekeepers, and characteristic differences so compartmentalize of course is going to be essentially membranes locking out areas communication happens a lot this is the craziest stream i've ever been a part of oh trust me i've i've i used to do this for coding actually i'm just gonna copy this photo over here um so we have fluid membranes so we can see that they can actually fuse mouse and human which is really cool honestly kind of sick but the main first part about membrane transports is how does membranes transport across the, the cell wall? Essentially, the cell membrane is what we're trying to transport across. And how this works is normally through active or passive transport, which is essentially active means that it takes energy, passive means that it doesn't. So we're going to copy and paste this part over here because it's going to be good for the test chat. Um, we can see here a cell membrane. So we have our exterior parts of the cell. With our proteins, we have peripheral proteins, cell membrane, and the interior. The membrane transport, of course, is transporting those proteins from the exterior part of the cell into the cell. So that's that's what we're going to be talking about for at least this section. And I'm going to have to to, to, to to do some size stuff. There we go. Plop. So this is more solid membranes. You, you can see fluid membranes are a bit different here. But this is actually for like solid membranes. So this is stuff like... Most all of the cells in your body have a solid membrane. Even skin can technically be considered a membrane. So transporting into the skin is actually separate as well. But I don't think we're talking about dermal transportation today. So you guys probably don't have to learn about that. Yeet. I mean, you guys don't have to learn about any of this. You guys are just, you know, just vibe. Selectively permeable. Yeah. So um, let me see. Let's talk. Ah, 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 ah. Let's talk about lipid bilayers, chat. Lipid bilayer. So lipid bilayers are what's... Oh, gosh. Why are you doing that? Uh, give me a second. It's, it's acting up, chat. It's being finicky. I'm going to copy, copy and paste this real quick. 
I used to use Photoshop for this, but I no longer have a Photoshop license that I legally obtained. So, you know, um, that's a bit awkward chat. So we're just using Photopea. Um, all right, let me buy layers. Let me make sure that we're not going to just completely, you know, screw up our perfect. So limit by layers are essentially selectively permeable. Oop, boop, boop, boop. Far zoom. <laughs> did it work? Oh, it did work. That's so funny. I was being sure it worked. Um, limit by layers are selectively permeable, which basically means that they choose what goes in and out of the cell, essentially. So not everything is able to get into the cell. Some things are rejected. Um, one top one like thing of this is hydrophilic or hydrophobic so hydrophilic means that water molecules are more likely to be accepted through the membrane while hydrophobic means that it doesn't uh it, it, hydrophobic basically means that water is not liked by the cells so yeah that'll be that'll be like a, a really key thing so um selectively permeable is going to be on a few key factors here we're talking specifically about, let me see, we're talking about small nonpolar. Uh, oh, this is going to be weird. Um, so we have, we have small nonpolar. We have small uncharged polar. So essentially polar and nonpolar is going back just to basic chemistry. Um, Uncharged basically means that while it is a polar molecule, it doesn't have a charge applied to it. So it doesn't have a plus or a minus. So it's not an anion or cation. Um, there are like larger unchanged, uncharged, po larger uncharged polar. We have just basic ions. So this is your calcium ion, potassium ion, stuff like that. So limit bilayers are essentially selectively permeable to charge, size, and polarity. Those are like main things. So for a molecule to be more likely to get transferred into a system, it's going to be uncharged. I mean, I don't want to say that actually. I don't want to say that because it depends. It very much depends, but most of the time it's smaller nonpolar molecules are more likely to get transferred into a system. However, it depends on the lipid bilayer. It depends on the membrane essentially. Yeah. So these, these are good factors. Um, so for this, essentially, chat, um, the rate at which a molecule, oh my gosh, differentiates across a synthetic lipid barrier depends on its size and solubility. So the smaller the molecule, I'm just going to put this into one sentence, chat. Um, so the smaller the molecule and the less polar it is, the more likely it's going to diffuse across the bilayer, which is, is, a, is a pretty common like terminology. That's why with a lot of drugs are considered, I mean, not a lot, but some drugs are small molecule proteins because you want small molecules to get across bilayers. All right, let's look at more permeability of these. So we have what's known, oh, that's actually too far down. We have hydrophobic molecules. So let's see, we're going to do hydrophobic molecules. And these are essentially lipid soluble and can pass through membrane membranes yeah membranes um rapidly so what this means is hydrophobic is not water loving and the reason that they can pass through it is because lipids lipids are an interesting thing it especially depends on lipid by layers by layer basically means that there's two sections of lipids that make up the the mechanism right so lipid by layers are more interesting and that's what a lot of cells are made out of but it, this is all generally speaking. We then have um, polar molecules. These do not cross the membrane rapidly. I feel like I don't need to actually, give me one second. I think I'm going to do this instead, chat. Um, instead of doing that, to save space, let's do this. Um, I will put it down one, though. Do magic. And then lastly, we have ions. Ions don't cross the membrane at all unless they're aided by um, a, a ch active transport channel. So um, a lot of times when talking about things like um, like a lot of um, medications for cardiac issues or heart issues, uh, focus on calcium, potassium, and 
like um, channels essentially because they're you need calcium and potassium for a good QRS curve, which is what you see like the the like do 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 like the heartbeat curve thing that you always see people use for like you know photos and all of that. Um, those are all affected by potassium and calcium ions. So essentially, it's potassium, sodium, and Na, K, and Ca, which, which plays a big role. In it. Even skeletal muscles, actually, like not skeletal muscle, but like skeletal, you know, skeletal muscle is also really affected by calcium. Calcium is a really big part of your body, so having an issue with calcium, um, you know, it, it'll cause issues. Uh, let's see permeability tight junctions let's talk about tight junctions sure tight junctions so these prevent passage of molecules i'm going to type before i talk about it okay how's that sound chat we'll, we'll do that that sounds better to me So, tight junctions are essentially what you would think they are, chat. Uh, a tight junction is going to be something like this. So, you can see here that we have a nice little open section down here, and then there's a very tight section at the very top, and these are considered tight junctions. I mean, it's, it's pretty, like, it, it's pretty explanatory of what it is by just, you know, the word explains the, the, the term, which is not always the case in pharmaceutical sciences. I, I wish it was, but in this case, it is. So, tight junctions essentially... By just having tighter like areas like this, I'm gonna. So I have my phone in front of me so I can see chat because I'm doing that. Um, by having tighter areas like this, essentially makes it harder for stuff to transport through because there's not space for the molecules to go through, right? It, it's pretty common. So it prevents passage of molecules and ions between cells. So again, this is where size comes into consideration. Something that's large is not going to get through a tight junction, whereas something that's small might be able to get through. But it just really depends on how tight the junction is. Oh my gosh, they changed the coloring. Sorry, they changed the colors on this. Holy shit. Um, so these are often referred to as like with permeability barriers. Again, I'm going to type before I, I talk. It's going to be so much easier if I just actually type before I talk, chat. Uh, I probably should put the, like, um, they're going to probably ask. I'm, I'm not going to lie. They're going to ask about this. Um, we want low permeability membrane. Which is blubbering barrier bladder. And that's at 12 to 20,000. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste that. I'm not going to be able to type out. I, I hate having to type out the, like, omega. Oh. Let me see. We're just going to type of omega CM2. Cool. So, essentially, here we have two different types that we're talking about, right? We're talking about permeability here, which means how easily is something able to get into the cell? How permeable is the cell? Permeability defines the transport into a cell, making it harder or easier. Highly permeable is like mucosa, which is like mucus system. So it's a lot easier to get into there because the junctions are a lot larger, right? Comparative to low permeability. These are things like blood, um, BBB is blood brain barrier, which is uh, an area that's extremely hard to target drugs to because specifically it is the blood brain barrier is meant to block out a lot of stuff because if drugs were super easy to get into the brain, that's not a good thing. Cause that also means viruses also welcome in Artemis hanging up on the wall. Cause it means viruses have an easier time or um, pathogens or antigens have an easier time getting into the blood brain barrier. Hmm. I should post a Discord now. 
Um, you didn't get to see the effect. Oh, there it is. Yeah. That should post to the Discord, I think. Yeah, it posted to the stream chat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun little gimmick. Right. So, Blood Rain Barrier is a extremely hard barrier to pass through. So, that's why it's considered low, low permeability, which makes sense. You want it to be difficult to pass through. It makes it a bitch to work with, like, um, neuromeds because it's extremely hard to get into the system. However, let me see. Next mode. Um, however, it's also important because it blocks things that would hurt or harm the brain. So, yeah. Um, that's always important things. Let me see. Differentiation of tight junctions. No, we don't care about that. Transport process. Yes. Let's talk about those, chat. Also, welcome on the internet, Miss. How are you? Today we're doing um a co we're doing a study stream. Let's see transport process. I'm gonna bold this. You're okay. That's good to hear. Hopefully you get better. I mean, okay is never okay. War thundering right now. Oh gosh. Oh no, Artemis. I don't. I don't need government secrets. Please no. <laughs> so transport process chat. Let's talk about it. I'm gonna type it out first. So we have. So the time <laughs> talks the link. Is Arn Quest on it? It is. They're gonna they're gonna ask about this shit chat, I swear. I also updated the bot, so hopefully it should work a bit better now. It's still Spotify only, yeah. Oh, did it work? Pog! Let me let me check the queue to see if it actually added or not. No, it did not. I don't think it's I don't think it's out yet in the United States, Artemis. That's so weird. Um, let me open Spotify. Yeah, it's still I still can't access it in the United States. I'm sorry. I know. Just play the YouTube video. I will. I will. I got you. Um, what's it called? It's called "Give Yourself to Me." Um, who is it by? It's by Cat. Oh, perfect. Oh, y'all aren't able to hear Chrome. Give me one second. I gotta unmute the Chrome tab real quick. There you go, chat. There you go. Okay, well, we'll do a little quick song break chat, and we'll get back to... I'm going to type while the song's playing, okay? That way I can just talk after we, we finish the song. How's that sound, y'all? I don't care how it sounds, because that's what we're doing. <laughs> ah! Let's go, Poggies. Oh, I still have so much space. Wait, what the heck? I didn't even realize that. That's actually kind of awkward, chat. Ah! What did I do? Passive, um, passive transport. So we'll, we'll talk about this after uh, the song finishes, chat.
That's actually a pretty good song. I like it. It's, it's good as shit. Pog. All right, chat. So, back to drugs. <laughs> so, when we're talking about um, transport processes, there's a few ways that this can work. So, we have solutes, which is essentially um, have great voices. True. We have solutes, which essentially are things dissolved into a, a solvent. So these are things like um, ions, which is, again, sodium, potassium, calcium, uh, hydrogen ions, stuff like that. These are all factors that are really important for the body to have. Then we have like things like sugars, amino acids, and nucleotides. Again, stuff that's important. We need sugar for ATP and all of that, which gives us body energy, yada, yada, yada. Then we have different types of transport processes. We have simple diffusion, which is essentially directly through the membrane. And this is what you think of when you talk about diffusion normally, which I know probably not a lot of people think about diffusion a lot. But essentially what this means is you're going to go from an area of high concentration to low concentration until the areas are equal. It's pretty simple. So you want an equilibrium. So you want, like, let's say I have a wall here. I want the amount on this side to be equal to the amount on this side. So if I have a little like slit in the wall, if this is high and this is low, it's going to go from high to low. It, it's pretty common. It's like the most simple form of diffusion we can talk about. We have facilitated diffusion, which is passive transport. So this doesn't require energy and normally is stuff like openings or channels and things like that. Then we have active transport. This requires energy because it's going from essentially an area of low concentration to high concentration, you're actively transporting it. So you have to put work into the system for it to work. That's funny. You have to put work into the system for it to work. Ha ha. But yeah. So again, simple diffusion is pretty pretty common. Um, for passive diffusion, let me see. We're going to type and then talk. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna snipping tool this chat. All right, yeah, we have fixed first law. So this is essentially like the equation or the the rules of how passive transport or how passive diffusion works. So essentially passive diffusion, we have like channel mediated or transport mediated where we're going from areas of high to low concentration, which again, because we're going from high to low, that's how the molecules already want to move. We don't need to put energy in. So it's just dependent upon the channel, the concentrations, and all of that, which you can see in the equation over there. It's, it can fix first law. Active transport goes from an area of low to high concentration. So this is when you're spending energy to move something out of a system. A and this is actually a really important process. We actually can probably... So yeah, there's two main classes of membrane... Um, there's two main classes of trans of transport proteins, and this is transporters and channels. Transporters are essentially what you would think. It has like an opening. It closes, captures the solute, and then opens on the other side, transports it through. Channels are just always open. So they're just stuff that essentially opens. You can close a channel, but they're not like selective. Let me see. Let me copy these two things. Um, Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's so close to working. Okay, wait, actually I actually have an idea. Let me let me just copy one of them. Okay, perfect chat. So transporters. We have transporters and then we have channel proteins. So uh, I'm just gonna move it over here. Let me see. Let's 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 give ourselves some an area to type. That's too far. That's also too far. Perfect. So 
we're going to put that down. Um, all of these proteins pass through multiple transmembrane proteins. So essentially transmembrane means that it's within the membrane. It's tra transitioning from the external part of the membrane to the internal part of the membrane. So we're just going to copy and paste this because it's a lot easier than typing it. Um, let's format it how we want to. All right, so all of, let me just bold this chat. This is an important note. Um, all of these proteins pass through multiple transmembrane proteins. So essentially, if you want a protein to get into the cell, it's going to go through multiple of these transport proteins, right? And what that means essentially is you can either go through a transporter protein, which binds to a specific solute. So this is selective transportation. And then it undergoes conformational changes and spits it out on the other side. Channel proteins interact with a solute less because it's essentially just like pores. They transport at a much faster rate, but they're not selective to a degree. They might be, but they're gonna be less selective than a transporter protein. There you guys go, punk. Um, yeah, so tr transport uh, transmembrane proteins allow selective. Um, let me see. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Transmembrane proteins allow. Oh, I don't need to type the word allow. So they allow selective transportation of hydrophilic molecules, and there should be an and ions there. And ions. Oh, there you go. Perfect chat. Look at look at that chat. Perfect. So essentially, again, this is when we're talking about the, the selective basically means that they're made for specific ones. They're not going to just take in any ions or any proteins or any hydrophilic molecules. They're going to take specific ones in and pass it through the system. Let me see. Let's see here. Um, water permeation across biological membranes. I don't need to do that. Um, We'll copy this. Okay, this is actually going to be important. Um, boop, boop, boop. Oh my gosh, chat, that's such a long word. Um, now. There we go. Um, Acryoporins, okay. I got to remember, remind myself on what acryoporins are, chat. Um, they, oh, they're just water homeostasis. Yeah, so they basically... They're water transport proteins that um, are associated with tetramers, which basically means like four folds, right? So um, each of them contains a long that supports a string of nine hydrogen bonded. Yeah. So essentially what this does is it allows water to tr uh, pass into the system. Because again, if we go back up here, hydrophobic molecules are more likely to be lipid soluble. And most membranes are lipids. So hydrophilic or water molecules are less likely to go through, which is, you know, an issue if you need to pass in water. So your body has uh, that built up. Ooh, ion channels. That's that's fun, chat. Okay. Let's go bold. We're going to talk about ion channels now. Um, we're going to go ahead and do some typing first before we, we start. How's that sound, y'all? I mean, I don't care how it sounds. That's what I'm doing, so. Diet CG is such a funny name. I 
I'm sorry. I'm Liz Dexic, and I looked up for a split second. Forgive me, Artemis. I have sinned. No, yeah, died sick. Thank you. I, I didn't. I looked up for a split second. <laughs> Throwing. I also, the funny thing is about that chat, it automatically goes to the, the, um, the stream chat discord. So it automatically takes screenshots. <laughs> the countdown lets you not have funny faces. I know, but also the countdown's fun. That's why we have two things, Artemis. That's why we have two, you know? Look, I can, I can mute the countdown so I don't know when it's happening. Uh, let me see if I can... Here we go. Now I won't hear the countdown, I don't think. Let me make sure. Oh, it's on, it's on cooldown. Um, give me one second. Let me make sure I don't hear the countdown, okay? Because a lot of the times I don't have the, the thing open. No, it's still playing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Here, wait, maybe? Yeah, okay, no longer hear the countdown, chat, so that's good. Um, so it'll it'll show the countdown, but I won't be able to hear it. And a lot of the times, I'm not looking at um, the stream or, like, OBS, especially when I'm doing stuff like this. So there you go. Pog. All right, chat. Back to it. So ion channels. Right, that's what we're talking about now. Um, ion channels are essentially used to transport ions specifically. So these are things, again, like calcium, potassium, sodium, chlorine, chloride, chloride, not chlorine. Chlorine's different. Um, and again, ion channels are really, really important because they work specifically on heart, skeletal muscle. They work in a lot of areas of your body. And because they can transport so many ions per second... Um, they work more efficiently than others, which is really important when you're talking about things like cardiac. You need your heart to be able to go through that QRS wave in, in seconds, in, in milliseconds. You're, you're doing multiple of those each second. Each heartbeat you have a, a QRS wave for, right? And ion channels are what mediate that quite a bit. So, yeah, they, they control the pace of the heart, regulate secretion of hormones in the bloodstream, and generate electrical impulses that transfer to the nervous system, which, again, all, all pretty important stuff, I would say. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I, I quite like my heart beating. So ion channels, specifically calcium, potassium, and sodium, are, are the main ones for those. Yeah, um, ion concentration differences across the pit-bi layers. useful for driving various transport processes conveying yeah that's fine i already know that um channel proteins ion channels move ions down an electrochemical gradient which is gated so let's just let's just do this chat um poof. so these again are facilitation of passive transport so they're not taking um they're moving down an electrochemical gradient so what this means is because they're moving down the gradient they're not spending energy to do so which is really really important uh, ion channels are ion selective and fluctuate between yeah that's that's important it's gonna copy and paste these over chat this is ah important stuff yeah so Again, these are very selective, which means that a calcium channel is not going to transport potassium, and potassium channel is not going to transport sodium, and so on and so forth. That makes sense, again, because you don't want to transport the wrong molecule. Sorry, my, like, there's like a zipper on these leggings, chat, and it, it came undone, and it was going to bug me. Um, you don't want to transport the wrong molecule through this, essentially, because that would be bad. Um, I need calcium to make sure that my heart's going properly. Hence why we have calcium channel blockers or CCBs, which are a really common medication for hearts. I need that. And if I have sodium there, it's not going to do anything good. So I need calcium to help with that. So again, the fact that these are 
um, ion specific or ion selective um, is really important. And they can fluctuate between open and closed. So essentially, when I need calcium for the heart, the channel is open and then it closes. If it doesn't close, then we're getting an influx. I am so not paying attention. <laughs> That's valid. You know what? I told this is like a co whatever stream. It's like co work. Damn, you were just ready for that. All right, ion selective. Um, ion channel gating refers to the opening and closing. Yeah, um, this is often opening and closing is often through what's known as negative feedback loops. So essentially, like too much will provide a negative feedback, which then closes the gates and vice versa. Um, yeah, they they are really really important processes in your body. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Um, we have so much space here. Give me one second. Let's just copy and paste this chat. Also, this is kind of a bop of a song. I ought to put us on. Um, oh, I have a playlist that's specifically songs like this. Give me one second. It was for an RPG character. Oh, <gasps> so many of the songs got removed. Oh no. I'll play it after this. That way you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, all right. Back to it, though. Kinetics of diffusion. That's fine. Transport membranes. Um, transport proteins allow selective transport of hydrophilic. Right. We talked about that already. You see carrier proteins can mediate passive or active. This is actually a good photo to have. Um, what? <laughs> Chat, why does it look like a dick? My cue. You know what? Valid Artemis. I'm fine with it, honestly. You guys, you put some banger songs in half the time. I'll never let go. <laughs> hey, you know what? You do you. I mean, other people can add songs to the queue. It's not just my mods, by the way, chat. So, in, you know, in case you guys want to add songs to the queue, you guys can do that. Right, then we have three classes, the ATP transporters, which is important. All right, let me let me click add to queue. I'm going to do this real quick. There we go. <laughs> I, I'm going to hijack the queue for one second, okay? Um, just so I can put it on a familiar, like, sound, so it's all the same. Um, ooh, this is actually a better slide. Turn the volume on the music a teeny tiny bit. Okay. Thank you. I wish there was a way to do, like, where users could turn up and down the volume for their, the, like, their own music. Like, does that make sense? Like, um, user A can turn up the volume if they want or turn it down if they want and vice versa. It'd be kind of cool. Summarize seems incomplete. Oh, well, speaking about summarize chat, here's the summary slide. <laughs> All right, chat, test three, cheat sheet. Um, let me just try to print this real quick to make sure it works. Yep, brother printer, cool. Na, na, na. Discord, YouTube, watch together. Yeah, like that, but for Twitch. Like imagine how cool that would be for Twitch. Like it, they, they have a way to do it because I can separate out the audio for video and like um, um, for like um, for Twitch VODs and all of that, but you know. It'd be like a Spotify listen party. Yeah. But I'm saying like, wouldn't that be so cool for Twitch to have that? Where like, if a user wants to turn down the volume for the music, they can. Or like turn up the volume for the music, they could. The 
is the essence of the presence that is swimming away. Less of an I can tune out the streamer easy. That's valid, but I'm saying like, you know. Oh, perfect, chat, perfect. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> you get the cheat sheet, there goes my hero. Na 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 catch the drift. I blackboard, course documents. So let me see. We just did um by oh we we didn't do by oh we need Dr. Polly's lectures. Wait, do we need Dr. Polly's lectures? Yeah, this is exam three. Oh, we just did both of Dr. Shoe's lectures, or Dr. Yeah, Dr. Shoe's lectures. We need Dr. Poli's lectures now, chat. Oh, that's so many files, huh? Oh, good Lord. <laughs> I don't know which one is which, chat. <laughs> okay, we're on bioequivalence now. Right, we want poly. This is bioequivalence. This is actually a really interesting topic, chat. Um, I think you'll enjoy this. Maybe, maybe, maybe you guys won't. I don't know. I can't speak for you guys. I enjoy bio. Bioequivalence is actually a really interesting topic in general, though. All right, so let's start some bioequivalence chat. Um, drug product quantity. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I know what drugs are. Chat. Okay, there we go. Um, let's just put in a definitions. Uh, we'll put in a definition section. Chat, just because we can. I don't need drug. I don't need drug product. Let's do therapeutic. Therapeutic. Um, we'll change this to aerial regular. Ah, that's not aerial and that's not regular. You lied to me, chat. Um, regular. Perfect. I actually am going to go grab a snack real quick, chat, I think. So we're going to hit you with a be right back screen. Okay, y'all? I will be right back. I, I'm getting a little snacky. So, we'll be back, chat. I like the currently playing overlay, by the way. I know, isn't it so nice? It's so helpful. Yeah, okay, I'll be back.
here. Down. I'm just running after them now. Starving. They find a you. Bomb. bomb buddy out. This oh, easy kill. Nice, baby. Hello, welcome on in. I'm sorry, I was grabbing a snack. Hello, Raiders. You're raiding while Ava wasn't here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna play replay the the raid alert too because uh, we we made new ones chat, and I think it was over overrun by the music. Um, hello. In case you don't know, my name is Ava. I'm a 21 year old gender fluid fanboy. His pronouns are he, she, they. And if you are so motherfucking inclined, little bitch, fruity, isn't it your birthday today, or am I just crazy? Happy birthday! That's the new raid alert, y'all. We made it in Ableton Live the other day. Happy birthday! Ha ha hopefully it's good. Yeah, P guys, please, if you haven't already, go follow Fruity. They are absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah. Well, it's tomorrow. Uh, well, tomorrow is, but the stream for it was today. You know what? Happy early birthday. Happy birthday, regardless. How? Wait, am I allowed to ask that? I don't know if I'm allowed to ask that on Twitch. Are we allowed to ask how old someone's turning on Twitch? Is that against you? It's talking about your age against TOS. I always forget this chat. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's not. Under, um, however, it's TOS to use a service. You're under 13. Okay, never mind. Uh, if you want to share, you're welcome to. How old are you turning? That sounds like such a weird question. If you don't want to share, no worries either way. 21 pog hell yeah do you have any plans also uh, if you guys are new here right now we're making a cheat sheet for a pharmaceutical sciences exam so you guys can learn some drugs because we love drugs here i'm a phd in pharmaceutical sciences and i have a test tomorrow so i decided yeah i do i got a full day tomorrow oh fuck yes are you going to like any bars or anything do, do you do you want to drink do you drink? I mean, like, look, I was drinking before I was 21. So, I mean, like, you know, <laughs> the, the question of do you drink is a pretty valid one, I think, before 21. Um, bowling that has a bar. Oh, that's sick. Hell yeah. Well, a um, few things just because I'm a like I've been described as the mother of my group many a times. Make sure for everything that you drink, at least have one glass of water, especially if you're doing activity. Um, don't do anything too sugary when doing activity. It'll it'll mess with your stomach, yada, yada, yada. Um, I'm sure you're going to have a designated driver, but, you know, if you drink, don't drive, stuff like that, chat. There's a whole lot of a whole lot of rules about drinking. I'm sure you'll be fine, but I, I, I am I mother of group, so, you know, those are the, those are the tips. Here's a drinking tip. Alcohol tastes bad. No, it doesn't. Not if you make it right, Artemis. That's why I love a blueberry vodka lemonade. Look, it is so good. Get Coca-Cola instead. Why not a Jack and Coke? But no, um, I am a big proponent of, hi, chat. Drinking is bad for you. Let's not get it wrong. It's a drug. It's addictive to certain degrees. It's also just bad for your health in general. Everyone has vices. My vice is drinking, chat. But please, if you are going to drink... Fuck! <laughs> Gosh dang it. Uh, if you're going to drink, please know your limits. Don't push them. How are you, Jonah? Hello! Yeah, don't know your, uh, know your limits. Don't push your limits. Hi, Riley! Oh my gosh, wait, I gotta give you a shout out as well. Hold up, wait. Um, shout out Riley. Oh, that's not how I type. I'm gonna crash. I streamed five hours. No, please do so. Have an amazing birthday tomorrow, Fruity. I it's so good to see you. I'm hopefully your birthday stream went well. Also, guys, go follow Riley too. She always makes kill my content. We should ask someone who has nails like that how they held their phone. Yeah, it's no, the they best on Twitch. I try. Oh. Thank you. It took me so long to make y'all. <laughs> Hog yeah, th chat. dude, look at this Up nail here. hanging on quite literally by thread. <laughs> oh no! 
I mean, press on wheels are not fun. Like they just don't stay. They're really not worth the money. But hey. I I can never so I can never do long nails. I need to paint mine still again. But I can never do like the long. My significant other loves like the the longer ones. I can never. I always keep mine like very very short chat because I don't know. I I type. I play guitar and stuff like that. So it's weird to have longer nails for me. Plus I would just scratch myself by accident. <laughs> but yeah, in case you guys are um joining from the raid we are talking about drugs today yippee because drugs are good chat uh as long as they're prescribed to you and you make sure that you know what you're doing yada 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 same but also other reasons same too same look there's <laughs> hey chat this is an 18 plus stream there's a there's uh safe sex reasons too but um <clears throat> uh yeah so we're doing pharmaceutical sciences today, chat. There is a song request on. If you would like, you can type in exclamation point SR, the name of the song and the artist, or just post a Spotify link like Artemis is doing. Out of the gutter. Listen, I wouldn't let someone with long ass nails touch me just saying valid joke. I mean, look, it depends where. Long ass nails as a masochist, chat, can be great. But it depends where. I'm just going to leave it at that, Chad. I might actually... Where am I, I might actually take the hoodie off. Give me one second, Chad. We're going to... Ow. <laughs> I'm not trying to be in pain. <laughs> valid, Jota. Valid. Wow, big hair. Hey, Chad, also, in case you guys don't know, those hoodies are uh, on sale right now. They're very comfy. Oh, Artemis, yes. Oh, Ava, what's up? Um, I know you're Christian, but... Yeah, I mean, I am. I'm very open about that. Jesus didn't love <laughs> Holy shit, Artemis! <laughs> I <laughs> Yeah, it's new merch chat. It's on sale. No, don't be sorry. That's hilarious. I love it. Look, I that's amazing. Do not ever apologize for making a good joke. All right, chat, back to it. So today we are talking about pharmaceutical sciences, and right now we're specifically talking about bioequivalence. And Ava, you might be asking, what the fuck does that long word mean? Well, bioequivalence is assessing if a two drugs are the same. Essentially, are they equivalent? So do they produce the same response? This is normally done through bioequivalency trials in which you take a blinded group and you have two different arms. You either do a crossover, which basically means that the patients go from one drug to the other, or you do a parallel, which basically means you have one group versus one group. And when you look at to see if the drugs, the new drug is producing the same response as an already approved bioequivalent drug. That's a lot of words, Chad, I know. But it's a really interesting topic. So this is where we're starting with our definitions because I need this on the test. Experimenting on the blind. <laughs> oh, no. Let me open up my phone so I can put this back here, chat. Um, perfect, 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 perfect. Um, yeah, you guys don't forget, there's a song request if you'd like to request songs. Right now, we're just doing some studying. I'm teaching a little bit to learn for my test tomorrow because I'm a PhD student in pharmaceutical sciences. In case you don't know, there's a whole thing, you know, all that. But yeah, uh, if you guys want to as well, check out any of the other content that we make here. You can always check out the trashcan.space. It's our website. Okay, back to it though, chat. So, therapeutic alternatives are essentially drug products which contain the same therapeutic moiety. Um, Ava, you might be asking, what the fuck is moiety? That sounds, I was going to make a really bad joke there. I don't know if, I mean, it sounds like a Jewish word to a degree. My hero by the Foo Fighters is amazing. Um, but moiety is essentially like, it contains the same therapeutic, like target, same index, or it's a precursor. Yeah. Not necessarily the same amount or dosage form or as the same salt or ester, but essentially it's the same drug pro, like it's the same drug target. So they're going to act on very similar methods of action. They're going to be going through this. Who needs to get a PAC when you can get a FUMO? FUMO. I feel like this is going to be a D's nuts joke, but I'm going to walk right into it. What's FUMO? FUMO. 
Just Google it. Okay, I'm gonna Google it off screen real quick. Our line of high quality plush characters. Oh, 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 oh. It's the stuff that you talk about all the time. Okay, cool. Neato. The trust in your mod is so low. I mean, also more than anything, Artemis, I just didn't have the, the primary stream window open. I had the uh, the secondary window open, so I just put it on there. Yeah, I don't trust my mod, so. Oh, Max Chat. What about the wait a second, what about what about the variable of fitness? I mean that actually okay, so that is actually a variable fitness. <laughs> Damn it. God dang it, Jonah. Motherfucker. I was gonna say that's actually a variable of like, you know, pa patients' body weight, lean body mass, patients like renal functions and all of that are all variables in drug determination, but then you just hit me with the the the, the D's nuts joke. Gosh dang it. <laughs> how, how could I have been so blind? All right, chat. We're also going to talk about bioavailability, which is a really important concept. Um, it's one that I work with quite a bit, actually. So in case you all don't know, I work specifically in the field of pharmacometrics, which is the mathematical and statistical modeling of drugs, how to determine dosing, time between dosing, and toxic effects, such as clinical, preclinical, uh, from clinical, preclinical, and simulated data. Other words, you can refine, improve, or make drugs with computers. So, bioavailability is really important because bioavailability changes quite a bit when you're, especially when you're talking about like IV, which is intravenous or oral, extravascular. This is not a 10 minute adventure. This is an entire stream adventure, Artemis. Gosh dang. Um, okay, but bioavailability of for oral. Bioavailability essentially refers to how available the drug is in your body. Um, we normally consider IV or intravenous to have 100% bioavailability because it skips absorption, skips first pass metabolism, or pre systemic circulation. Our pre systemic metabolism, pre systemic, um, yeah, pre systemic metabolism. But oral doesn't. Oral goes into your body, goes down to the stomach, passes through the gut lumen or the portal vein into the liver does undergoes first pass metabolism and stuff like that so it's really something that talks about how available the drug is is there a strong first pass or pre-systemic circulation effect stuff like that really important um this is pays a lot into consideration between iv and oral because you also need iv and oral data to calculate bioavailability yeah, it's a measure of both the rate and extent of the active ingredient or active moiety absorbed from a drug product. So essentially how much becomes absorbed and available at the site of action. Not paying attention to the... Oh, that was a... <laughs> you gotta go check that. Um, in case y'all don't know, what Artemis just redeemed is a Polaroid that gets sent to the Discord immediately after um, it's taken. So, yeah. So then we also have terms. Like, I'm gonna type before we talk, chat. Good song. So let's talk about pharmaceutical equivalence chat. <laughs> the song seems familiar. I know. I don't know where from. I don't know why. I know, right? She active moiety, my she active moiety, my active ingredient till I drug prom. <laughs> what? What does that even mean? <laughs> Stay best. <laughs> you the teach. Oh, also, Joda, hold up. I need to do this. Um. There you go, Joda. You've been here enough times. You're, you're definitely VIP worthy. Mm, 
There goes my hero. I'm going to take a, a, a quick snacky break before we talk about pharmaceutical equivalents. And I'm pretty sure you've had VIP Artemis before. Immediately got ads. Yeah. Rip me. Let me take a snack break, chat. No, that's a 10-minute adventure, Artemis. Yeah. That's so valid, Joda. I'm also lazy. I don't have my wallet. Yeah, not worth it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah, you're one of the first people that have subbed to me, Armis. How long have you been subscribed? You've been subscribed for five months. That's crazy. Wait, how long have I been partner for? Or not partner. Uh, fuck, I wish I was partner. How long have I been affiliate for? It's April, so we got it in October, like end of October, early November. October to November, November to December, December to um, January, January to February, February to March, March to April. I think six months, give or take. That sounds right. That's crazy, chat. I'll have been streaming for a year this coming, I think it's coming August or September. That's insane, y'all. I have no clue about that. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna finish the snacking, chat. We're going to snack a little bit, okay? Let's take a quick snack break. Finally back. Welcome back. Chad, do you want to know the funny thing? I have a final on May 7th, right? My birthday is May 6th. It always ends up this way, Chad. I always have finals right on my birthday. It's, there's like one reason I don't celebrate. I'll be the ripe old age of 22 pushing 80 this year, chat. <laughs> My birthday is often overshadowed by Mother's Day. That's valid. Yeah, mine was like, mine's always like finals or graduation or stuff like that. So it always kind of is that weird area. May 9th? Oh, hell yeah. Pog? Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy that it's been a year since I started my PhD and almost a year. Like, less. it's less than a year since I started my PhD. I started my PhD and started streaming at the same time. So it's crazy that it's been that long, chat. It does not feel that way, honestly. Like, I'm so surprised I made it to a stream team chat, which honestly, also, in case you guys don't know, Floroma Town, I was having such a chill con All of the vibes are amazing there, chat. I'm so happy that I'm a part of it. Everyone is so chill. You converted from a prime sub. Pog. Yes, that makes you the six and me the nine. Gosh, dang it. All right, ban him. Ban him. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't ban Joda. Do not ban Joda. Easier to renew the chat message. Rip already. That's valid. That's valid, Artemis. Thank you. I appreciate it, like always. Um, In case I don't know, resub X undefined. I know. It's crazy. In case I don't know, um, I try not to, like, block things by ads and whatnot. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm checking my stuff. Um, I try to take breaks and all of that. If you would like to... S I need to figure out... Okay. Actually, wait, wait, wait. This is something I was talking about the other day. I need to figure out, like, other incentives to offer for people subbing. Because, like, I we have the fun emotes, right? And, like, no ads. But the no ads thing I don't think is really an incentive. Because I always try to take breaks during ad breaks. Uh, so... It's still going. I have it queued. It's okay. I can press the button and it goes back. I was just going to ask, is there any other incentives that y'all have seen other streamers do that you think is really cool for subbing? I sub for strangers on... Oh, you're talking about Twitch subs. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Um, Like, we have the receipt printer and all of that, too, which is, I think, a fun little gimmick. But I wanted to kind of see if there was anything else. Like, I don't think we're at the point of, like, private Discord servers. I don't. I don't know what to else to offer yeah no my gf is the sub so <laughs> imagine not being a switch kind of cringe on miss you know
Yeah, it is mainly with bits. If you do sub, you do get your name up there. Like, um... There's Joda. You're up there, Artemis. She dobbed my switch till I suck. <laughs> Chat's having a great day today. Ain't nothing like a funky beat, hell yeah. I don't think I do Artemis. I might, I might, but I might not. I never know. We'll find out. <clears throat> but, anyways, chat. Actually, I'm gonna really quickly. I'm gonna take the image that you 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 save you sent Artemis the Polaroid. I'm gonna make a Twitter post real quick just about how we're doing this because I think it's kind of fun. Um, let me see X.com. Chat. Also, I'm so proud of those photos the other day. There ain't nothing like that funky beat. Hell yeah. Ava, Artemis, what's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> Why are like 54 first requests not checked as completed? Because it it doesn't automatically check. It, it, it prints. So when it prints, it doesn't automatically like... It's the same reason why, like, um, um, other requests won't show as com completed because they're done. Yeah, you can complete these all. You can complete all of them. Yeah, there's none that we have like that we had to complete. It's just essentially Twitch doing like the normal queue thing, but like it because it's done through streamer bot, it doesn't so that it gets completed. first actual mod work i'm doing i think you've banned did you did you ban one person or was that evie i know one person got banned recently it's pretty great get, get, you know i gotta praise the mods a little bit <laughs> you've done actual mod work before though i'm pretty sure at least and if not i mean eh. all right chat so let's talk about it shall we oh, already are you asking about the did my song no i think it's still in space it's still no, it's it's still after, but this is um from Joda. You're not the only one doing song requests now, Artemis. I know. Scary. All right, chat. So, let's talk about pharmaceutical equivalents and bioequivalents. Joda, my nemesis. <laughs> so. Pharmaceutical equivalents are essentially drug products that contain the same active ingredients and are identical in strength. So this is really important because they're essentially the exact same. They're they're almost extremely identical. Bioequivalence allows the formulations to be slightly different. But what matters is that they meet the same targets, they produce the same effect. For a drug to be bioequivalent to another, it has to have the same outcome or same effect within a plus or minus 20% degree extent of absorption, which is, again, really important. Um, bioequivalence is often done for generic drugs, Chad. So if you're especially in the U.S. here, generics are oftentimes a lot cheaper. Once the patent runs out on a drug, you can make generics. And generic studies are done as bioequivalent studies because you don't want to have to go through the entirety of the approval process where you can just do bioequivalence because bioequivalence allows for accelerated approval is a really interesting concept. I hate the fact that there's patents on drugs, but you know, what do you do? Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, another factor is therapeutic equivalence. 
gosh dang, p- pace in the right place. Um, they're essentially pharmaceutical equivalents, which are expected to have the same effect when administered to patients um, under the, the conditions specified in the label. There it goes. I'm so happy I'll like our redemptions. I spent so long on all of them. I'm not going to lie. It took me a while to, to get these redemptions, chat. I think the other one that I haven't seen get... I don't know if this is actually... Does it work, chat? Let's find out. No, it's not working. Damn it. It's supposed to go the webcam out and then do this. It's supposed to do that, chat, but um, it, it doesn't work right now, so I'll have to fix it eventually, but it's also a lot more. The uh, problem is I never have enough for the more expensive ones. That's valid. Borked it. I know I borked it. Just the, wait, does this even work? Okay, it does. Okay, cool. <laughs> Okay, cool. I was just being sure. You know what? Here, I got you, Artemis. I got you guys. Um, let's do this. Let me go, chat. Let's simulate the economy, shall we? Um, just vote yes for free money, chat. There you go. Yeah, no, Ava. What do you mean, yeah, no? Oh, I need a... Oh, I forget gambling in your country. That's right. Check Discord. Viewers in your region can only predict without using any frog coins. That's so crazy to me. Twitch told me to do it. That's so funny. That's so strange. I mean, yeah, it's actually sad. I mean, that's kind of crazy. I get what. Also, chat. Look at the look at the little fancy thing. You can't gamble on Twitch predictions. Yeah, because it's considered gambling. See, can we um in submissions? There you go. There, there you go. Free money. It's like not being able to open CSGO. Like, I get that. Yeah, that's... Yeah, not gambling on Twitch with free points is insane. Hey, there you go, Joda. Have fun with free money. <laughs> All right, chat. Back to it. Um, FDA criteria. Oh, this is going to be good. This is also kind of a fire song. So the FDA criteria for... Therapeutic equivalents chat. Let me just let me just copy all of this. Can I paste it? Will it like it? Uh, I don't like it much, but that's fine. Yeah, chat. You know you can also get more uh, channel points if you subscribe. I think. I don't, is that how that works, chat? I'm pretty sure that's how that works, right? <laughs> Shit, I don't know. This, the fact that you didn't know this song is a crime. I'm sorry, but it is a good song. There we go. Chat FDI criteria for... Um a therapeutic equivalence. That's good. All right, let's take a look now. Oh my gosh, there's so many ge- generic substitution. The dispensing of a patient of a to a patient of a therapeutic equivalent. Therapeutic substitution. The dispensing of a patient to of a not a patient of not the prescribed product nor drug, but or nor a therapeutic equivalent, but a drug product which is expected to you. Oh, okay, that's one I don't know, chat. There is therapeutic substitution. Chat, this entire thing is just going to be definitions, isn't it? That is, that is a banger of a song. Um, 
Did you see what happened in Norway? No, I did not. What happened in Norway? Gosh, dang it. That's that's it. That's it, chat. That's it. That's it. Um, where's the where's the thing? <laughs> Artemis doing mod work, tying them out for that. I was gonna oh yeah, here we go, chat. We'll do this. Did it not work? Fuck! Chat, how have I borked so much? How have I borked so much, chat? Can you? Can I what? Untime out someone. Um, I don't know. Yes, you can. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just slash on timeout and then Joda interactive. There you go. Welcome back, Joda, to the land of the living. <laughs> You've served your time. I don't know if it does it remove VIP. I don't know if it does or not. I'm going to have you look there. Joda, whenever you get a second, can you type something to see if it removes VIP or not? I know sometimes that it will, but I want to be sure that it... Like, I know it removes mod status sometimes if I time someone out, like, as a streamer. So I'm being sure it doesn't remove VIP status. I'm alive. No, it doesn't remove VIP status. Good. I tried to redeem while I was gone. <laughs> Hello, alive. Oh, I got nothing. I'm sorry, Artemis. I know. I just saw your Discord post. Um, we'll just do. We'll just take snipping snipping tool of this chat. This is absolute bioavailability. I know the equation, but I always switch it in my head, chat, because I am this dexic, and I I don't want to switch it in my head on the test. So we're just gonna paste in the equation for absolute bioavailability, chat. Um, absolute bioavailability when you're talking about it essentially means that it's the true bioavailability between um. In this case, between oral and IV. Um, this is from plasma data. And then if you're doing urine data, you have this. Um, for y'all that don't know, snipping tool, my goat. I know, right? For y'all that don't know, um, essentially, let me, let me click there. Um, we have AUC, which is area under the curve. So it talks about the exposure metric of a drug. So essentially, when you're looking at concentration, it's area under the curve of the concentration versus time cur uh, profile. So it talks, it's a really common exposure metric for a drug chat. Absolute bioavailability does not equal the extent of intestinal absorption. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we know that relative bioavailability is just this, but for, for two products. Um, so when we're talking about relative bioavailability, it means that you can't get the absolute, but you can get it relative to something. So let's say I want to set uh, intramuscular as my normal, and then I have oral. Um, I can get the relative bioavailability of oral comparative to the intramuscular, where we have intramuscular considered one. Or whatever intramuscular. We can, we can even just set it as something, too. Basis for determining bioequivalence. Bioequivalence is established in the in vivo... You know, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'll include that chat just because I think it's an important part. Ooh. Okay, valid song. Fucking fire. I love I love song request days um, because I get to learn new songs. She oral my intramuscular to I therapeutic. Gosh dang it. Let me add that to the like songs chat. That's fine. Boop. 
There you go. That's how you do the basis for bioequivalence. They're essentially looking at um, the drug administered under the same therapeutic dose, and you're looking at the rate and extent of drug absorption comparative from the product that you're testing to the reference. So it's most commonly referred to as a T by R, or test by reference ratio. Reference listed drugs, yeah, NDA versus ANDA review process. Oh my gosh, I, I actually know these. Um, Labeling of generic, a objective of bioequivalence studies. Well, we'll include objective of bioequivalence studies. They're pretty, imp it's pretty important, I would think. Um, oh, actually, I need to, to do this. Um, let's do that. Objective of bioequivalence studies is an important part. Um, the reason I was not, I was kind of debating including it is I kind of know it, but... It's, it's an important one to have just in case because a lot of the times they're very particular on their wording on tests. You know what I mean? Like you guys have been to classes like that where they're they're very, very particular on how you do your wording and even one word wrong can be, um, what you call it, fucked. I've had that happen so many times, chat. It sucks. What do you do though? I'm gonna, let me turn the music up a little bit. Formulation performance is defined as the release of the drug substance. I will we'll include this as well, chat. Why not? Just just in case we need it. And it's better to have and not need than need and not have, chat. It's over? What's over? What's Jover, chat? The joke flew under the radar. Oh gosh, what joke? Did I did I miss something? Um, hey Ava, can you follow my advice? Blatant plagiarism. <laughs> I mean, look, chat, chat. I've had to take so many fucking ethics courses. Oh, sorry, the, the top of my camera is dusty. Hold up, wait, you know, just dust it off. There we go. I've had to take so many ethics courses, chat, because I'm in pharmaceutical sciences. The amount of ethics that they drill into your head is insane, chat. Like, it's important. Don't get me wrong. But it's common sense a lot of the times. So it's like, hey, is it unethical to bias data and make it look like the drug works when it doesn't? Well, I don't know. You know, I mean, like, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yes, of course it is. What do you mean? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, of course it is that. Yeah, plasma concentration. I, I know that. I know all of these chat. Design of bioequivalence study, T by R ratio. Okay, here we go. Actually, I don't even need this, do I? Um, I know what crossover is. I know what... Yeah, because it's a crossover two period, essentially. Like, I don't need that. Fasting study, food intervention. I know. I know all of this. Statistical analysis. Let me just... Let's... Yeah, let's do this. Um, let's look at the statistical analysis. Statistical analysis. How do I type? Um, so, chat, in case you don't know as well, bioequivalence studies are commonly referred to as BE studies because bioequivalence and people. Look, scientists are trained to be lazy, chat. Um, when I say 90% CI is 90% confidence interval must fit between 80 to 125 percent. This is just a um, actually something from guidance chat from FDA specifically. Um, bioequivalence criteria. This is for a two one-sided test procedure. <coughs> Hello, good. How are you doing? Today we're learning about drugs. Yippee! <laughs> um, by that I mean I'm doing a, a cheat sheet for pharmaceutical sciences and teaching Chad a little bit about drugs here and there. Fun? I know, right? I think it's fun at least. Um, I also decided, you know what, it's so much easier to focus if I have Twitch chat to focus. Which sounds so fucking funny. Because it sounds like it would be the opposite, you know? But actually it kind of helps. Um, so this is for a two system. Um, that's my BF's area of knowledge. So I leave the medicine stuff to him. Is this related to CD? 
Gosh dang it, Joda. I know what you're going to say. CD's nuts in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's up? I pre-watched I pre pre it. Um, yeah, I... Yep. See? Got it. Got it. Look at that. Pre-watched. <laughs> um, that's awesome, though. Yeah. I... This is my... Uh, this is my area of expertise, specifically pharmacometrics. But my my significant other, my my partner, my girlfriend, um, is doing her PhD in toxicology. So she's the real nerd in the relationship chat, of course. Give me one second, chat. We're gonna we'll explain this, okay? Dang, both serious biochem specialties, right? Yeah, um, yeah. So she works a lot more with like um animals. So she's working with mice exposures right now, which awesome. She's working specifically in, uh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, um, looking at vehicle exhaust, like emissions and all of that, and how they affect different disease states. Really cool, actually. Um, she's the nerd though, of course. I'm not the nerd. Um, it's not like I stream and do pharmaceutical sciences and play D and D and have a Twitch pillow and code and right. Not the nerd. Ah, uh, yeah, totally not the nerd here. Chat. Hi, hungry. I'm dad. It's not like I've coded a receipt printer or, you know, like coded a website and a domain and all of that. And, you know, have a Synology NAS over here that runs a media servers and, all the self-hosted stuff and recipe books, chat. Nah, that couldn't be me. Code D's nuts. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I love this community so much. Y'all are great, in case y'all don't know. This this is what makes me so happy to hit stream every day. It's just the community is amazing. Even if y'all are a bunch of degenerate gremlins. I don't know. Um, let me see. What's your fortune? For hate is never conquered by hate. Hate is conquered by love. Hey, there you go. There's a fortune. I want Wendy's. Wendy's nuts fit in your mouth, Joda. Fortune three on my pickaxe! All right. Let's see, Artemis. <clears throat> Prosperity makes friends and adversity tries them. There you go. There you go. Up on the wall. What? I'm cucked from my D's nuts moment. Yeah, what's up? I know a bunch of them too, huh? What are you going to do about it? <laughs> All right, chat, let's see here. So when we're talking about the statistics of bioequivalence studies, chat, and again, bioequivalence is making sure that two drugs are very similar. Um, we're referring to two areas here. We want to make sure that the PK parameters of exposure, which is our AUC area under the curve and our concentration maximum or Cmax, are equivalent to each other and well estimated. What this essentially means, chat, is that we want the 90% confidence inter Is this 90%? I thought it was 95%. No, it's 90%. Um, we want the 90% confidence interval to fit within 80% to 125% TYR, our ratio of tests by reference. So if we take the test Cmax over the reference Cmax, we want that to be within 80 to 125%. And, and this is essentially just saying the same thing here, chat. Um, we don't want significant differences between them or else they're not equivalent. It, it's pretty simple. AO? Is that the song that you requested, or is that just something different? No, that's correct. Hey, yo, added yo, acid jazz version. Hey, yo, the song I requested. I said, hey, yo, yo.
chat. We're gonna we're gonna do a beer right back. Scream. Okay, chat. Okay, chat. That was quick. I just, I just need to refill my water a little bit. We're chatter chattering a lot today, so my throat was getting dry. You know what's funny to me, actually, for y'all that don't have ads, this is actually more like viewers than I normally get for like playing random games, and that's so funny that there's just so many people here wanting to just learn pharmaceutical sciences. Apparently, top tier. Oh, I fucking love this song, chat. Welcome back from ads, y'all. Yippee. The zipper gets flipped. I swear. So, like, okay, let me see if I can show this chat. There's, like, a... There's, like, a zipper there, and I, it gets flipped up sometimes, so I have to, like, fix it. It's an interesting feature. Okay, back to bioequivalents, though. Plasma profiles. Yeah, I know this. I know this. This is actually a, a nice little image to have here, um, especially for teaching purposes, chat. So this is um, how they'll often demonstrate bioequivalents. There you go. Look at that. T by R. So again, test by reference ratio, depending on what metric you're measuring. Oftentimes, they're measuring both metrics, so like AUC and Cmax chat, because it just adds um, validity to the results that they are, in fact, bioequivalent. Let me see. Bioequivalence. Fail to de demonstrate bioequivalence is truly not bioequivalent. Improper sampling. Yeah. Necessary number of subjects for power. That's, yeah, this is um a power. Actually, I'm going to... We're going to take a snipping tool of this because knowing that just a bit. <laughs> oh, and bit. We're going to take a snipping tool of this. Sorry, I did that for the bit. <laughs> I love it. Ar oh my gosh, Artemis, you cracked me up. Thank you as well, Artemis. Good night. Night, Artemis. Thanks for stopping in and interacting and all that. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night, and I will see you at some point later this week, probably. <laughs> Chat is such a fucking good... I, I'm Honestly, that's such a banger of a, a dono alert. I'm not gonna lie, Chat. Night, Artemis. Take care. Let me find a song. Valid. Also, in case you guys uh, weren't here... We can't even hear the alert. Wait, you guys can't hear the alert? Wait, 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 wait. What? No shot. Okay, wait, let me let me play it again. Here you go. There you go. I made that in Ableton Live the other day. <laughs> That's some alerts. Yeah. Um, we have that. We have the new sub alert chat. Uh, let me pause the, the song real quick. We have a new sub alert chat, which is this. <laughs> they crack me up, chat. Um, and then, yeah. Yeah. I, I did those the other day. That was the end of our stream at one point. It was great. Uh, 
Uh, let me see. We got that now. Um, origin of uh, brief bio. So ABE is abbreviated bioequivalence. That makes sense. Um, you do model informed drug development or MIDD for abbreviated bioequivalence. Oh, that's all part one. Okay, now we need part two. Poggies for Poggy. Oh, I forget that our Poggies is that. Oh my gosh. I forgot chat voted for that to be the Poggies. That's so funny to me. Thank you, by the way, Artemis, for letting me know that you guys couldn't hear the alerts. I think I, I had it. Yeah, I forget every time, too. What did I do there? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Back to it. Back to it, chat. Um, after the launch of the student, we'll be able to explain the statistical approach to bioequivalence evaluation. Um, abbreviated our average bio. Wait, what? No, that's not. A, B, E. Ava, are these alerts in the room with us now? <laughs> I don't know. Shit, maybe. Look, I just went to Ableton Live and recorded it. It was hilarious. That was that was that was like a stream the other day. Um, take this song. I'll take it. Code Rain. Thank you. All right, Artemis. Take care. Have a good night. Sleep well. Thank you again for stopping in. You're always a blast just to interact with and chat with. I appreciate it. Chat, these songs are actually kind of fucking poggies to all. Happy. All right, average bioequivalence. So let me let me let me make a little thing for this because I thought A B E O. Oh. No, A B A B E. Um, abbreviated average bioequivalence. A B A B E is what I was thinking of. Chat, not av average bio equivalence. A B E. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, we're gonna say. Let me see. Right, so let's see here. The standard method um, is ABE, in which two draw. Yeah, we'll just we'll just say that. We'll just do this chat. Um, this. Oh, I don't like that. Why? Why is it? Why is there a missing symbol there? Oh, one to two alpha. Commons. Okay, so this is a standard statistical method chat. Um, I. We have interesting opinions on statistics in our lab chat. Bioequivalence is one of the only areas that we really think statistical significance is important because otherwise clinical significance always outrules statistical significance. I don't really care if the p-value is 0.52, which means my alpha failed, if there's clinical significance and evidence of efficacy otherwise. All right, let's see here. Um, yeah, so let me see. This is... Without the reference, this message become widespread around the world. Um, a survey suggests uh, physicians suggested that most drugs, um, a difference of twenty percent in the dose would uh, dose between two treatments would have no clinical significance. Yeah, um, the decision is whether or not the tested reference products are bioequivalent. The concept is that a plus or minus twenty percent difference is the basis for bioequivalence limits. So there's a goalpost that we're looking at. Um, if the concentration is dose dependent, if the concentration dependent data were linear, the bioequivalent limits would be at 80 to 120%. On the log scale, the BE limits are 80 to 125%. Um, 90% CL must fit entirely within the specified bioequivalence. Yeah, that's an actually important note. Um, so let me see. That basically means uh, the 90% CI. So the 90% CI must fit entirely within specified. B E limits E G Ergo chat. I don't know why I know that that is ergo. But what is this <laughs> What this essentially means chat is um if like you know when we're talking about nine percent confidence interval, it gives us a wide range like this, right? So you can see, let's say that we had one that was yeah, you can see this one right here, right? It's within the 80%, but right here it goes past 125%, which means that it fails to demonstrate bioequivalence because it doesn't actually have the entirety of it within that limit of bioequivalence. So it's basically like setting a threshold and saying if the confidence interval goes past this threshold, they are not bioequivalent, which is important because 
some drugs are highly variable in specific populations. See, so study designs, um, test one, test two, and reference are contained. That's fine. That's test by test. Uh, that's TRR, test reference, reference, test reference, test. There's different study designs, chat. Amotriptyline, the ANOVA CV. ANOVA is analysis. Um, it's analysis of variance. Um, like it's an analysis of variance something, but it's looking at this mean CV. Analysis of average variance. It's something like that. I can't remember exactly what ANOVA stands for, chat, but it's looking at the, the variance between the two groups. Is that, is that all this? Okay, all of these are just... Um, oh, we have actually plenty of space for... Is that, is that all for bioequivalence? Yeah, that's all for bioequivalence, chat. So we're going to actually go ahead and um, we'll click off of that, chat. Let me copy this. We'll scroll down here and paste. Oh, no. This is this is a very bop of a song. Y'all choose some good music. I'm not, ah! No, let me fucking paste in the proper location. Ah! Chat, did it just delete like an entire section? Ah, it's fine. What do you do? No, what do you fuck off? I'm just trying to copy this, chat. I'm, I'm struggling, chat. We're struggling a bit right now. I'm not going to lie, chat. We are massively struggling here. Right, I need a line. Um, this is now not bioequivalence anymore, chat. We're now on to... What are we on to? Uh, we're now on to oral drug absorption and intestinal permeability. No, don't, don't minimize that. Gosh dang it. I'm struggling a bit, chat. Give me a second. There we go, chat. Um, let me take a look here. How many lectures do we have after this? Um, bioequivalence, one, two. So we'll have one, two, three lectures after this. Okay, that's not bad at all. Look in your Okay, yeah, okay. I'm gonna really quickly chat. Oh, wait, 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 cancel. Um, I'm really quickly just gonna play a quick game of chess, okay? We're gonna do a quick 10 minute adventure chat just because I wanna take a little break. Um, we're just doing a quick 10 minute adventure chat, okay? Let me just change the category real quick. Um, Chess break. Give me one second, chat. Give me one second. Um, quick, quick 10 minute adventure chat. Quick chess break. Quick, quick, quick chess break. Just, just a quick one, chat. I just want to play a little bit of chess, you know. 
kind of like give my mind a, a bit of a rest by doing something else that's mentally uh, taxing. <laughs> Electrify my heart. All right, chat. Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. What are we doing? What are we doing, chat? How are we doing it? So excited. This is fine, actually. I'm okay with this positioning a bit. I mean, I kind of want to pull out. Oh gosh, what is going on here? Find myself in love to you. Oh, it's like you want to chat up. There you go. There you go. There you go. I want to pull here, then here. Cause there, then there. And if they don't, if they take, we just take here, chat. And then there. And then we have an opening there. Okay, yeah, we'll just take. It's gonna push. Ha! <laughs> We'll take. So if they take the paw, now we take. They're up on pieces, so we don't want to do that. Clearly now the sun's eyes. Right into the night. All right, chat. Okay. Castle, whippy. Dive right into the night. Live my life for you. They gave up a free rook. Let's go, chat. Yippee! Free Rook. Wow! Yeah, we'll take this too. Right into the night. Dive right into the light. Protect here, tack here. Let's attack their rook, chat. But also attacks here and protects. Wow! Let's go. 
let's go. Yippee. <laughs> Alright, we'll play another game. We got we got time, chat. We got time for another game. Bam 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 bam. Just gonna pull here. Not where it's gonna push. Let's go, chat. Yippee. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> oh, castle. Pull, push. Oh, okay, chat. Okay. That was, oh my gosh, zero, zero, zero across the board. Oh, look at that. <whistles> All right, new turn. Our new game. One more game, chat. One more game. Last one. Then we'll go back to, to studying, okay? Yeah, we'll play the name Zowish Declined. Interesting. Let's just pull, push. Our race, but I was thinking we can switch up the pace a little. Okay. We'll do that because now if they take, we take. Look at us being smart, chat. Are they going to take with Pawn? Sure. Because now if they move the Pawn, we take. Got a line here, chat. Well, Long Castle. Again, if they take with Pawn, we take now. So we'll probably take here, honestly, with the the, the pawn. Because then they either have to move. Mm, actually, I don't know if I'd take with pawn. I think we take with the, the queen and then offer the trade up. Because it also attacks. Uh, but it attacks there, but then they have it defended here. So not really. I think we just take with... Oh, they're just going to go move. Let's castle. I'll pull here, push there. Dun, 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 dun. All right, chat. Okay, okay, okay. Sure. Interesting attack on their part.
That doesn't do much for them. Protect there. They're trying to attack this pawn. That's fine with me. Check. That's fine. Chat, oh, let's go. We're so ahead now. Yeah, we'll take. Sure. Now we're just going to move this pawn, chat. Yeah, let's go. All right, chat. Pog, let's go. Okay, chat. Let's get back to let's get back to it, chat. Back to the test. Review. Let me see. We'll remove the chest break part from the title. All right, let me do that. We'll change it back to just chatting, y'all. We get to go back to teaching the dogs. Pog, there we go. Big stretch. Chat, wait a minute. We might actually be getting a fucking YouTube video going. Let's go. Holy shit. After all of these months. Uh, let me copy this. Um, we'll paste it down here. No. I copy and paste. There you go. Thank you. Move it over a little bit, chat. There we go. Perfect. All right. So we're talking now about oral drug absorption and intestinal permeability models. Oh, gosh. That's such a long word, chat. Holy shit. Ah, it's fine. We'll be fine, though. Um, oral drug absorption is a really interesting phenomenon. Oral absorption. Gosh dang it, Jonah. Oh, also, let me, while I'm thinking about it, Jonah, let me try this real quick, okay? Well, I have the while well, I'm thinking about it. I want to see if I can now gift you the the Steam gift card. Five dollar redo. In case y'all don't know, we have a monthly clip challenge. Oh, I gotta gotta open up the QR code chat. Um, 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 um Steam poggies. I I'll figure out a way to get it to you one way or another, or I'll just PayPal you five dollars. I'm not gonna lie. If it doesn't work, that would probably is my secondary option. I'm not, uh, you know, full, full, full truth. Like I do. Because we do have a monthly clip challenge chat in which, um, let's see, Joda. <gasps> I can actually do it now, Pog. I also accept gifties. Would you prefer a Steam gift card or a gifty? I can do either right now, honestly. Either or. I can do either, so whichever you prefer. Um, whatever you want to do. I mean, I feel like the gifty feels so weird because... Like, I get part of it back. I don't know. It's up to... Again, it's, it's fully up to you, Joda. 
I I could go either way. I got an ad again. Rats. I feel like. Let's do that then. Yeah, let's let's do the gifty. I I feel weird because I get part of it back. Chat, is that weird to do? But like they also complain about ads, so let's do that. Chat, let's do that. So I like you about you. Um, gift a sub. Gift a specific viewer, Joda. Um, Joda interactive. Give to tier one. Give me one second, chat. Give me one moment, chat. We're fulfilling a contractual obligation, chat. Um, essentially, in case y'all don't know, in our Discord, we have a monthly clip challenge. Um, where's, the, where's the button for that? We, you can join the Discord. We have a monthly clip challenge. And yeah, so I, I Jota was the one who won this month. So they got a $5 thing. Um, it was going to be a Steam gift card, but Steam wasn't letting me send it for a little bit. So they're now talking about Gifty. So we do Gifty instead because they've been complaining about ads. So we're going to we're going to we're going to do that so they don't get ads no more. Ads over now, Pog. Um, we're confirming. We're confirming. Use balance first. Agree. Give it a second. Joda, one minute. Got to do. That should work. Yes, it did. Perfect. There you go. That way you don't get ads. Because I was, yeah. Like I said, I can do Steam now as well, though. So, you know, if you do it again and we can do that, we can get Steam. But you were complaining about ads, so thanks for making me your sub. Oh, gosh dang it. All right, that's it. That's a ban. That's a ban now. All right, chat. Let's see here. Back to the concepts, though. Um, no, gosh dang it! Stop, stop moving it. VIP timed out, subbed, and banned. It's such a tree. <laughs> we're, we're Jota. You're speed running all of the Twitch. You know. Let me see. Okay, oral drug absorption, chat. You're speed running everything. I'm sensing a trend. Yeah, I, I just abuse my viewers half the time. This is a joke. Put your movies in my head tonight. Okay, cool. Just being sure. Um, regular. We're going to go here. All right, chat. So we're going to be talking about oral drug absorption. Um, and there's two components from... I'm going to turn it down just a little bit, chat. There's two major components about oral drug absorption that we need, we can talk about here and we're going to copy and paste them over because I'm lazy chat. Um, so, ah, give me one second chat. We're going to, we're going to do the, the typing first. Um, and then we're going to talk about it. Okay. I'm a bad one. Oh gosh, Joda. Oh no. Look, I mean, I'm a brat too. So it's okay. I understand brats. Fuck me. What the hell? Not in a fun way chat, please. Um, so oral drug absorption, right? There's two components for drug absorption from a solid oral dose. And essentially what solid oral doses are is they're not permeable membranes. They're not like doses that that are – they're solid. They're the hard-cased ones. So there's drug dissolution from the doses form, which results in the drug basically getting into your, your stomach, right? So it's the breakdown of the drug. And then the drug needs to permeate across the gastrointestinal wall. So it needs to go from the stomach to the portal vein to basically get transported through the body. So we're going to look at the physio physiochemical factors in gastrointestinal drug delivery. Um, and again, chat, when we're talking about gastrointestinal, we're talking about stomach here and basically like through the intestines. Because essentially what happens when you take a drug orally 
is it goes into your welcome, stomach. Welcome, 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 Hello, welcome, welcome. Hello, Sarah. Wonder. How are you? Do we have a cold cut to go? Sure, coming right up. Would you like anything else? Um, do we, uh... <laughs> Welcome on, oh, Paimon. Oh, sweet, sweet Paimon. Can you tell me that you want something? With your words, well, perhaps? We'll find out. I don't know if I am or not. We'll find out, though. Chad, please go say hello to them. That That's amazing. Oh, Genshin streamer. Oh, you know, Cal in them. Pog. We have raided. Welcome on in, raiders. My name is Ava. I'm a 21-year-old gender fluid fin boy. His pronouns are he, she, they. And if you are some motherfucking inclined little bitch... Right now, we're learning pharmaceutical sciences, because I have a test tomorrow, so we're making our cheat sheet. Yippee! <laughs> How was your stream? What did you guys do? Anything interesting or fun or chaos? What, did it, what does it say? Uh, they were last playing Just Chat. Oh, Just Chatting. Poggies. I don't know if that's actually correct. I need to fix, out my sh I need to fix my shout out bot. I think it's still fucking up. I'm unsure if that is correct or not. I will have you confirm. There was a Genshin cat. Th oh, Pog? Wait, there's a, let me see. Genshin cat event. Sir Pounce. I love them. I, I love this so much. This is so cute. Oh, cat... I cooed over digital cats and got that shonky boy pog. I love cats. I love all animals, chat, honestly. But yeah, cats are... I think I'll eventually get a cat in my apartment here once I finish up my coursework. But yeah, amazing. That's so cute. Hell yeah. I hope you had an amazing stream then. I mean, looking at the cat, it's amazing. Cats are pog... I forget that's the Poggy. I uh, look. I was like, oh, Poggies. And I realized that's the emote that, yeah. That's the emote that we have. Twitch chat voted on that one because, of course, they did. Why wouldn't they? Um, But, yeah. So, in case you guys are new here, like I said, my name is Ava. Today, we are talking about pharmaceutical sciences. I'm a pharmaceutical sciences PhD major with a focus on pharmacometrics. It's a bunch of big words. But, essentially, I decided that I didn't want to just, um, I didn't want to just, uh, what was my brain saying about? Fuck. Um. I didn't want to just make a study guide on my own because I'm lazy and teaching to other people is actually really fun and this helps focus me. So we are talking right now about the physiochemical factors in gastrointestinal drug delivery, which again, big words, but essentially what that means is when you take a drug orally, it goes into the stomach, gets broken down, and then you're going through the intestines and from the intestines into the gut, um, the gut lumen or the portal vein. Those are, again, a bunch of big words, but we're going to talk about this. So, specifically, what are the factors that affect gastrointestinal drug delivery? We talked a bit about this earlier. Um, whoop, we're just going to copy and paste it because I'm lazy, chat. We talked a bit about this earlier, but size is one that really does affect it, as well as I and pH, specifically, as well. Um, where is it? Physio physical and chemical aging is another one. But you might be asking, Ava, why does pH affect drugs in the stomach? Well, your stomach is acidic, right? We're kind of assuming that your stomach has stomach acid and is highly acidic. So essentially, a drug that is not acidic is going to have a harder time breaking down and being absorbed in the stomach. However, drugs that are basic are going to have an easier time being absorbed in the intestines. It's kind of this, this balancing act that you play with drug delivery. Now, I'm not a person who does drug delivery quite a bit. But I know at least some drug development. So, yeah. So, let's see. We're talking about drug product, physical and chemical aging, stability, salt. For stability is another really important one, actually. Because some drugs have bonds that are extremely stable. If those bonds are too stable, they don't break down. Because it takes too much energy for the bonds to break apart. However, if they're too unstable is going to break down and be metabolized before it gets to the target site so again this a lot of drug delivery is balancing acts yeah uh i'm gonna skip this song because it's too 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 much wordy too wordy chat for me to think um so essentially let me see what else do we have we have salt forms which are important because different salts are going to get absorbed differently which is another big factor 
we also have polymorphism. So polymorphism basically is different variations of the same drug. So a drug might have a polymorphism or a, a gene might have a polymorphism that affects it differently. Oral absorption is science. It is. I mean, look, I specifically going back to the bioavailability discussion earlier, bioavailability is a really big factor of oral absorption. And I know you're making a pun here, but it actually is a huge factor of uh, drug delivery and absorption. Let me see. Th uh, three mechanisms to limit oral absorption. Well, let's take a snipping note of snipping tool of this chat. Because this is just going to be way easier than having to type out. There is so much science entering my brain. Apologies. We love science, Chad. So here is three different ways that we can essentially, and this is mechanisms affecting oral absorption, right? Um, and this is actually one thing that we can talk about is saturability. Because there's often times, we're going to pull up MS Paint real quick, Chad. Let me see. Let me see, chat. Ooh, give me one second. Um, one moment, chat. One moment. Uh, MS motherfucking paint. Can y'all see MS paint? No. Is it going to make me change the browser cap? I think it's going to make me change the browser cap, chat. No, can I not? Oh, I can't capture it. Okay, perfect. Chat, welcome to MS Paint, my favorite graphic solid. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so essentially, when we're talking about a drug and, and its saturability, right? If we have, and part of my handwriting here, if we have dose on this axis, chat, and we have concentration on this axis, what this is, is this is called exposure response. So this is our exposure. Um, this is, sorry, this actually is an exposure response. This is um, dose proportionality. So if we're saying that the dose is proportional to the concentration, that means there's going to be this nice linear curve, right? So essentially, as dose increases, concentration increases. It's pretty similar. However, a lot of the times with specific medications, there's things known as saturability of the binding sites. And this goes into the PD quite a bit. So while the dose and concentration might be proportional, ooh, 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 I can draw. Uh, while they might be proportional to a degree, at a certain point, they're going to plateau. And what this essentially means is here we have the receptor is saturated. So actually, wait, no, this should be, this should not be concentration. This should be, um, this should be um, a response. So this should be exposure response chat. So this should be concentration. There you go. Ignore that. Um, so essentially this area here, the receptor is saturated, which means that no matter how much concentration we have, the response is going to remain the same or it's going to, it's not going to be affected because there's only so much of the receptor that can actually bind to our drug. So here we have a saturation effect. There are other factors that play into saturation, but this is one key factor of it. So this actually does have a ability to saturate as well when it comes to absorption because there's different thing um, areas that you can actually have saturation limited absorption and that's specifically through uh, PGP which I don't know the acronym for please do not try to ask me the acronym What's the acronym for? Gosh dang it, Joda. I told you we don't talk about the acronym, Joda. I mean, let me see. Um, PGP. PGP. No, that's that's not it. Um, PGP Pharmaceuticals. PGP is P glycoprotein. It's a drug efflux pump for um, different drugs. So we don't need to know P glycoproteins for this, thank goodness. But essentially, you know. Yeah, that's, that's an important factor is P-glycoprotein. So this can lead to saturation. We can see here as well, we can look at different solids dissolved and absorbed. So you can see as we increase it in time here, our solid is going to be transferring. Actually, what is this? Wait, hold on. Give me one second. What is this talking about? Oh, this is just, this is, yeah, this is limiting oral absorption. So solids limit oral absorption by essentially breaking down slower i don't know why this is actually i'm not too sure about this graph here though y'all i'm not i'm not positive about that to a full degree 
chat. Wait a minute. Hold up, chat. So, huddle. Hold on one second. Sorry. I, I have other things going on on my other monitor right now. So, chat. I, about two months ago, set out to make a YouTube video, right? In that video, I wanted to talk about the scam GFX artists that you always get in your Discord. And I mean, like, oh, do you need GFX for cheap? Yada, yada, yada. I did that two years ago or two months ago, right? And I'm like, okay, I'll get a message within the, the, the within a few weeks. I just now got the message chat. Chat, we might actually be able to now go through with that video because I just got a message about this. Let's fucking go, chat. This is huge. Woo! Okay, back to it though. I get those all the time. I know. See, I do too, Joda, except the one time I want one to make a video about it, nothing. Two months of silence. Because my goal right now, chat, is I want to see what happens if I pay them something. Like, I want to pay them for an emote, right? Like, let's say $5 or so. And I want to see what the outcome of that is. I want to see if they're just going to take the money and run. I want to see if they're actually going to, like, work with me on something. I'm very, very curious. So that's the whole point of this video that I'm film I'm going to be making. Um, and, yeah, we finally got someone to reach out. So, Pog. Okay, though. Back to talking about oral absorption chat. Y'all's favorite, I know. Um, in vivo absorption, dissolution rate of API is slower than its permeation. Okay, so this is dissolution rate. Okay. So dissolution, rate, limited, and permeation. You're right. Absorption. Um, we'll change it back to regular chat. Um, and then we're going to go hit it with a little blank. And then we're going to copy and paste here. So dissolution rate limited absorption is essentially... When we're talking about rate limiting steps, chat, it's the thing of like, if like, um, um, com let's look at computers. Okay. Computers is a great example of this. If I have a really good GPU, but a really shitty CPU, my CPU is the rate limiting step is what's slowing down the system. Right? So what is the, the rate limiting factor in this? So when we're talking about absorption, what is the rate limiting factor of this? And this is essentially talking about when the dissolution rate is so much slower than the permeation, it's dissolution rate limited. So the dissolution here is the rate limiting factor. Does that make, does that make sense to y'all? I mean, I think it pretty much does. Oh, I need to put improving. Yeah, so improving the apparent solubility or dissolution or decreasing the size can increase the amount of API absorbed. So essentially, again, this falls under the category if, oh wait, oops, if our um, rate limiting factor is dissolution, then improving its solubility, which improves its dissolution or decreasing the size of it, can in increase the amount getting absorbed because it's no longer going to be as rate limiting. Does that make sense? I'm going to say that doesn't make sense a lot to y'all. I'm sorry. Um, the other factor of uh, the other side of this, I'm just going to copy and paste this down here, actually, chat, um, is permeation or permeability. Permeability rate or permeability limited absorption. Because it's not rate limited, it's just limited absorption. Permeated, the words are hard, my goodness, chat. Permeate. Permeability rate limited absorption is going to be the opposite. So essentially in this factor, when it dissolutes or dissolves much quicker than it can permeate across the GI tract, that is when it's permeation limited absorption. So essentially, again, it's going into the, the same factors, chat. It's we, the, the rate limiting here instead of the GPU or CPU is the GPU. But in this case, the rate limiting is the permeation and not the dissolution. So increasing the apparent solubility um, may increase the absorption by increasing the concentration gradient. Because again, a lot of this is concentration gradient chat from high to low is what we're trying to do. Yeah. 
give me one second here, chat. Um, another factor is solubility. So if we're talking about solubility, dissolution, and permeability, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. This one is solubility limited. Solubility limited absorption, chat. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Ah! So the dose of API exceeds the amount of API that is able to dissolve. So essentially, when we have solubility limited absorption, there's uh, it's saturation. This is saturation, kind of. This is what we were talking about a little bit earlier with saturation. It's unable to have more of it dissolved into the GI fluids because of the amount it, it the dose exceeds the amount that's able to absolve uh, dissolve fucking hell words are hard y'all so it may reach concentration quickly or may also permeate permeate quickly however saturation saturated concentration at the site of action is low relative to the total dose of the API um, we're just saying API here as in our, our product, right? So API in this case is just our absorption product. Chat, well, I think I want a frog popping out of a trash can. Chat, I'm sorry. I'm also negotiating business right now, chat. We're negotiating business with the GFX messenger. I want to see... I, I'm honestly curious about the outcome of this, chat. I want to know if they're actually going to make an emote for us or not. Or if they're just going to take money and run. I'm so curious, chat. I'm also curious about the quality if they do make the emote of like how good it's going to be. I'm actually hyped. So am I. Look, this makes a banger ass YouTube video too, you know? I'm sure some are super genuine and some are not. I know. That's going to be part of the message that I'm going to give is some of them might actually be genuine. I'm very curious on how this person is going to fall under. I wonder if they're watching. Let's look at the users in chat. Nah, I don't see them. Oh, if their Discord name's the same as their username, I don't see them. Also, if they were watching, I don't know if they'd be negotiating with me right now. But chat, we are going to block out their name. We're not going to mention anything of their name. We're not going to do anything like that. I do not want people to harass anyone. That is not our community's goal. I just want to make a fun YouTube video. <laughs> but anyways, back to solubility. So essentially, the extent of absorption of the drug can be improved by improving the solubility so you know making the drug more soluble means that more of the dose can actually be dissolved or be soluble in the target area which increases the absorption of the drug how soluble does a drug candidate have to be that's actually kind of an interesting question chad i don't know about that let's find out how soluble does a drug candidate have to be, chat? And we're going to go down to, there's an equation for this. I'm going to just snipping tool it in, chat. Because I am lazy, chat. Yippee. Can we run this experiment on cum? Um... I'm sure this has actually been done before. I, I think you're joking, but I'm pretty sure that actually is something that could be done because it could be talking about this all you build. I don't know, though, with because that's a different field of mine. It's not really a drug. I'm sure it's been done. Oh, I'm pretty positive, especially for like in vitro fertilization.
chat. They're asking about deadlines. Now I'm asking about price chat. Hoddle. Hoddle. Okay, cool. Um, dissolution film model. Oh, we have more equations, chat. Not playing chess and waiting for a dude to play for six minutes on a 10-minute game. I've been there. Chat, we have more equations. More equations, chat. Equations. Yippee. About the day. That's a big D. That is a big D. Um, that D is diffusivity. It's length squared over time. Facts of solid. Um... Gastic motility, plasma, get intestinal, intestinal transport mechanisms. That's going to be important, chat. Um, this is actually going to be important for us to have is the intestinal transport mechanisms. We also have the space. I love physics and chemistry, but software engineering is easier. It very much is. I am in this weird area of it's physic, it's bio, it's bio, physics, and chem all at once. Because it's, bi it's biology, it's computer science, and all of that. It's chemistry. It's fun, though. I mean, I enjoy it. I mean, it's tiring. Don't get me wrong. I mean, like, it's work. What do you expect, right? About the day. Intestinal transport mechanism. Um, we got barriers now, chat. Oh, that's awkward. I didn't do that right. Um, new. Barriers. I hate the barrier method. I can't. Wait, what's the... Wait, what do you mean the barrier method? Is that like an actual method in... In, in software engineering? Too innocent? I mean, I might be. I don't know. Shit, I never thought of myself as innocent, though. Can I even read that? Nah, not really. I need to shrink some stuff down, chat. I'm talking about contraceptive now. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, let me do actually a new version of this chat, and let's not include the barriers top or bottom. Contraceptives are poggies, though, chat. I do not want kids, personally. Like, I, I have not wanted kids for a hot minute. And um, contraceptives are great, especially more permanent ones. I actually have a sex me, in case you guys don't know. I mean, that's a lot to talk about on stream. I really don't care, though. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm not a fan of kids. Kids are not for me. Chat, how much should we spend on an emote? How much should an animated emote cost? I don't know for one emote, yeah. Animated of, um, yeah, animated. OC, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how much. I'm just going to ask if they have a baseline that they normally charge. Because, like, I, I don't know, chat. I and, mean, look, I'm going to be honest with them. I, I don't know. If they say something absurd, I'll negotiate. But, like, I you know, we'll see. We'll see, chat. We'll see. Well, let's, wait, let's look on Etsy, chat. 
animated emote. Also, look how cute those are, chat. It's looking like maybe f five dollars. I think like it's generally it's on the seller to name the price. Yeah, well they're asking about a budget. That it makes sense to ask about a budget. I don't know what to set as the budget. I'm going to say around five to ten dollars as a budget chat. I don't know. Shit. And I'm not, clear, I'm not certain, but yeah, this is also, you have to realize this is like, um, I just said, I'm looking at a budget of five to 10, but willing to negotiate. I feel like that'll be fine, chat. Oh, pH partition. Okay, so we need to do, 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 do. Um, let me just copy the text of this chat. What? Poly um, oral cont. What is, what is the name of that chat? That sounds fine. Um, let me delete, 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 delete. What? I can't see anything. All right, chat, we're talking about the pH partition hypotheses. Oh gosh, why is it like this? We got a copy here, chat. Um, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna double click and paste. Perfect. Okay, cool. Um, it, it was messing up the spacing a bit, chat. So we had to we had to do this little fancy, dancey thing for drugs that are ionized. The extent of ah. The extent of ah, yes, my favorite chat. Um, for drugs that are ionized, the extent of ionization. And th so when we're talking about ionized chat, we're talking about charge, kind of like um, plus uh, cations, anions, stuff like that. Um, so the pH is really important when it comes to ionic um, properties. Let's see. The extent of ionization influences the neutral form is more permeable than the ionized form. Oh, this is just Henderson Hasselbach. I don't know if you guys know what Henderson Hasselbach is, but um, it's it's the equation for 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 ionization, like pKa and all of that. So there you go. There's Henderson Hasselbach. It's the pH equation, chat. They're really common. I didn't want to tilt it. Same. Um, apparent permeability. Let me, let me let me do this chat. Hundred dollars. Uh, they said it's a hundred dollars for an animated mode chat, and you don't have to pay me the full budget. You can pay me something up front, and the rest after the work is done. That. No, I feel like generally it's on the seller. Yeah. Let's figure out about a static emote chat. How much would a static emote be? Chat, I don't know if I want to drop a hundred dollars on a YouTube video. Well, no, I'm asking. I'm asking him. 70 to 90.
math ain't mathin' to me. I mean, it makes sense. It's time and all of that, but um, oh, seventy to ninety for a static, a hundred to hundred and thirty for an animated emote. That's kind of crazy, chat. It's personal versus commercial use. Large complex. It gets hung as 20 to 30. A uh, small Twitch emote. 20 to 30 is reasonable because every person that goes to your chat follows you, subscribes to see that you've had the emote. Um, I mean, I don't. I mean, I'm, I'll offer twenty to thirty. Chat, we'll figure it out. Chat, we'll start a we'll start a we'll start a donation goal. <laughs> <laughs> chat we're gonna try to, we're negotiating here chat we're doing art of the deal right now um apparent permeability though snipping tool actually let me just do this chat we're just gonna copy him we're just gonna snipping tool this too The real art of the deal is to never pay them. Well, I mean, I'm not going to do that. That's just stealing. Oh, I actually hate that that's highlighted. That's going to bug me, chat. That's Trump's signature move. Valid. Yeah, because they were talking about, like, multiple revisions and all of that chat, which makes, again, makes sense. I just, I don't know. I don't want to drop $100 on an emote. I don't know about y'all. But that, that that ain't it. That ain't it, chat. You know what I mean? <laughs> that, that ain't it, y'all. Especially for an emote just for a YouTube video. I mean, like, well, you'd use the emote most likely, depending on how it looks. But, like, if it, I don't want to drop uh, that much money in case the emote's just not good. Because also, this is just a person messaging me on Discord, you know? I mean, like... Permeability systems. Where's... Okay. Right here. Perm... Ability systems. So, different permeability systems here. Chat, we have human permeability, which is going to be talking about... Perfusion and... Centigraphy. How do you? What is that actually? I don't know. Let's find out. Um, could you do sixty for a static? So it'd be good for both of us. Oh, I don't know if I could do sixty. Chat. Static emotes can be between 40 to 45 per emote, plus 20 for animation separately. I think I offer 40. Oh, but I don't know. Is it worth it? Is it worth it, chat? You bitch. bitch. Welcome, invite. Is it worth it, chat? To, to do 40 for a YouTube video. Let's look at our let's look at our um let's look at our overview for this month chat. Let's see how much we're making. Ninety six. Okay. Um. Uh, 
So that'd be basically like half of our revenue for the month chat. I feel like that video goes so hard though, right? I feel like that video goes so hard, chat. Uh, I don't know. I'm willing to drop 40. So is there a song request going on? There is. We're also talking about drugs today. Yippee! Okay, what is scintigraphy? Um, it's a technique in which scintillation counter... Oh, okay. So scintillation counters are essentially like the radiation counters, chat. Chat, we're negotiating. We're doing art of the deal right now. Look, y'all, if I if we do this for forty dollars, you'll have to watch that video, okay? <laughs> Chat, we're gonna run an entire day of just ads just to get that forty dollars. This is a joke, by the way. This is very much a joke. Rads, yeah. I watch all the videos, Poggies, Joda. Even normal games. Oh. YouTube or Spotify. It's Spotify invited. We're running faster and faster. Also, how are you doing? Didn't you have a race this week? Or am I just misremembering completely? One more time, you keep your arms in mind. We have human, we have animal, which is an in vivo. Damn, I was going to put the solo leveling intro song. I have no clue what that is. But yeah, I, I prefer Spotify because the bot works um, with something that's on the desktop. The, the in-browser one was always, yeah, I've got a re race this weekend. Very nervous. You got this. Don't be nervous. Plus, you're going to have fun with it, right? That's what matters. Tissue flap. Uh, let me pull that up real quick. Well, it's not chat, chat, chat. Do we do fifty dollars for the emote? <laughs> chat, I'm gonna work. I'm gonna. Chat, we're offering dollar forty five. I just want to see. Chat, we're going to hit him with the sorry for haggling is how it was raised, plus, still getting started with streaming for money. So making sure I can afford it. Chat, we got it. We got it. Chat, it's a business expense either way. We write it off, right? Either way, we write this off, chat. It's a business expense. It goes into a banger YouTube video too. I'm down for 50. I'm down for 50, chat. Commit tax fraud. That's not tax fraud. Tell him 45. That's what I said. I told him 45. I asked 45 dollars. Because again, chat, there's no there's no guarantee that we get an emote, right? Like there's no guarantee here. We'll pay him half up front, so but there's no guarantee that this goes through. Luckily, PayPal has a scam prevention thing, so. Okay, this is pretty fire. Okay, I can see why you like that song. That's good. I'm going to go back to Spotify because I got to finish up the study guide here, chat. Like tonight, we can roll the dice. Tell me about what you thinking. So, chat, that's for animal models. So, these are different models of how, um, like, different, different, 
permeation permeability systems are, are determined so then we have cell culture um artificial membranes such as pampa pampa membrane vesicles and quasi chat quasi is such a fun word tell him tree titty <laughs> three fitty not a buck more Amazing, amazing, Joda. Truly, truly, truly bargaining. Chad, if you would like to donate towards the um, uh, towards the uh, the fund of paying for an emote for a video, <laughs> you guys can check out the donation link in the description. <laughs> oh, chat forty five. It is. Chat forty five dollars. Uh, let me pull up finances dot the trash can. No, that's actually not gonna work. Um, let me see chat. Okay, chat. We're okay with forty five dollars. <laughs> this is a this is a crazy video chat. I'm really curious now. I'm I'm so hoping this turns out great and I can just praise the person. And be like, not all the people are like this, but this person's awesome. But we're going to find out, won't we? Yeah, that's the whole point of this video is to explore. Lead optimization parallel objectives. Okay, that's fine. Um, part two. We love exploring. I Yeah, we do, chat. We do. Chat, I'm just asking, uh, which payment method do you use? PayPal. Chat, PayPal 100%. We're not, we're not, we're not Virgin Alpha PayPal, chat. Because PayPal, if I get scammed, I can get my money back. Okay, check in one second. We're going to pull up on the, um... We love. Ex I thought we. Uh, I just rather thought we loved losing money. I was like, oh yeah, you know what, kind of valid. Give me one second, chat. We're gonna pull up PayPal real quick just to check something. I'm pretty sure my my Twitch email works for it. I'm offering them to send an invoice via PayPal chat because that's a pretty fire way to do things. Can I do an inverse invoice chat? No, I can't. I cannot. Um... Give me one moment, chat. Give me one moment here. We're, we're, we're changing it up a little bit. Give me one moment, chat. One moment. Um, downloads. Let me go to logos real quick. One moment, I'm sorry. All right, chat. So that's the that's gonna be part of the video now, chat. Poggies. Um, like I said, we'll do all the stuff that we'll normally do for the video. So, Pog. Um, I'm gonna continue. This is our study guide.
Thousands of times, times not. All right, chat. Okay, pog. Please don't open up on the right. Okay, perfect. Overdraw Enterprise Services. <laughs> Chat, that, I don't know if that's. Send me a screenshot after sending the money. Chat. That's that's um. That's something. Yeah. Chat. What is Overdraw Enterprises? Overdraw Enterprises Seven is Frisco, Texas. Overdraw provides small businesses with complete accounting services. Ch -ch Chat. This does not. Probably their LLC. No shot. This is an LLC of theirs, chat. Oh, let's look on the Twitter. Chat, there's no shot that this is their LLC. Overdraw... Chat, this is why we're doing it through PayPal, so I can claim being scammed here. Chat, this is wild, and I'm not going to lie. I'm just asking now, like, is that them? Yeah, Chad, this is definitely a scam. Um, We're going to send a very low amount of money up front. I'll send the rest when they finish it, if they finish it ever. All right, let's see here, chat. Um, human permeability, napril. Ooh, actually, these are both um, really important. This is human permeability, chat. And then we need human perfusion. Because these are two important things they might ask us about chat. And I don't want to have to remember the genual junction or perfusion. Thought and sound, I can never trust myself. Do I need to know rat perfusion? I don't think I do, chat. This is data, human versus cow to polar surface area. Um, correlation between absorbed fraction humans after. I don't know if I need to know this, chat. This we need to know. Um, distribution coefficient.
chat, we're going to really quickly run this through a link scanner. Oh, there's a URL scanner from Cloud. Cloudflare, damn. Cloudflare does a lot of shit, chat. I love Cloudflare. Before we even like open up, we're gonna be safe here, chat. This is cybersecurity 101. Never open up a link that someone sends you unless you've run it through a link scanner first. Um, link Lemprowski's rule of fives, poor absorption win. Okay, that's actually important too, chat. Okay, this actually does go to, to PayPal. Okay, cool. That is just an actual PayPal link. Let me just send them a snipping tool of what I see here. Because there's no shot they're this company, chat. I know y'all aren't able to see this. Here's what I'm seeing right now. No shot. <laughs> Family business! Chat, we're going to see if we can do $1.15 up front. Let's see how much we can lower our chances of getting scammed here, chat. I mean... Look, chat, if they're going to they're gonna do this, we're going to do everything that we can just to be sure that we're actually getting stuff correctly. Because, like, look, I'm still not expecting this to go anywhere, chat, but I can at least, with PayPal... You know, um, argue it or like fight it. So I'm going to have, we're going to have detailed records of all of this chat. Also because it's going into YouTube video. So fraction of dose absorbed in human. Sorry, this is now slightly gone off topic of me teaching here and just now doing YouTube video creation. Um, All right, that is that actually. So what is next? We have exam three, phase two, one and two metabolism. Um, right, so we need to go to Dr. Raman. Or Dr. Raman. I don't know how he pronounces his name, chat. I always butcher it, and I feel so bad. I mean, not butcher, but, like, is Raman or Raman? And I hear people pronounce it different ways every time. Okay, so this is... Oh, this is his first pass metabolism. Oh, chat. First pass is goaded. We love first pass here. 
chat, what the fuck is this? All right, chat, we're doing 20 up front, 25 on finish. So chat, um, I would like to add chat. Please do not actually do this at home. Um, this is this is me being really. T I mean, twenty five or twenty up front. Um, what's this for? Commission for a Twitch emote. Um, as discussed via Discord with um, this person's name. Get a full refund if your item is lost. Um, seller pays a small fee. Perfect. Yeah, don't don't share my address. No address needed. It's okay. Yeah. All right, chat. So chat, at least with PayPal, I can report if there's an issue. So like that, the nice thing about using PayPal specifically chat is that I can report problems. And basically what that means, chat, is if I have to go through like this longer process, but I can't get my money back. So if there if, if this just turns out to be a full scam chat, which I mean it the odds of this, I mean I mean, I don't know, but the odds of it are relatively there. So I can at least just refund or get a refund on it. I did some very, very particular things too, chat, where I specifically talked about like commission for a Twitch emote, discussed via Discord on this date, total price and all of that. So if there's an issue, you know, we can do that. But chat, banger YouTube video. Chat, we got to make a YouTube video. Oh, that's the wrong, that's the wrong thing. Okay, perfect. Dr. Roman. I love Brian David Gilbert. This is Brian David Gilbert chat singing um, here and is great. I, they, I adore him as a comedian and just like as a, an artist as well. Top tier. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and start this. Why do we care? <laughs> Whatever you swallow will be acted upon by gut microbiomes. That is indeed a fact of life. Uh, I'm going to change our song playlist here, chat. There we go. All right. Wait, there we go. I 
looks as good as new. She looks as tight as can be. Can you join lips out no explanation? Um, integrating the okay, so I need to read that, but we can print it off. So there's three reading assignments, chat. Um, historical perspective. What happens to oral medications when they enter the body? The secret of the microbiota. Okay, phase one. Let me go ahead and do snipping tool here, Chad. This is an important one, chat. Phase one. Just been since Maidman went and said here on her own. Significance, fate of the drug. Significance on drug action versus metabolism. Significance, drug disposition. First pass of orally dosed. Okay, yeah, perfect. This is actually a really good diagram for us to have chat. Because this will be helpful for talking about it um, when we get on the test chat, Poggies. I'll show your work preview within three days, probably. All right, chat. We'll see if in three days we get a work preview. So oh, actually, this is also another good slide chat. Um, there's not much I can teach on this because it's all just slides and I'm kind of to the point of I, I don't want to talk much more. I might go ahead and end the stream here. I think this has been a pretty solid stream, honestly, and I can't I'll get, I'll keep you guys updated on um, how the 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 emote thing is going in the discord okay so if you guys aren't there yet or and want to join you guys can always check out the trash can dot space and there's some links there for you to check out at your own leisure it's all of the stuff that i do um thank y'all very much for chilling and stopping in here i really appreciate it we're looking at who we want to raid right now let's go take a gander over to Let's go say hello to Evie, chat. Evie's another wonderful member of our stream team. Please say hello to them and give them some love. Uh, what do I type, chat? There we go. Thank you again so much for staying here and listening to me talk about drugs all day and interacting with me. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. The next stream.